Hey y'all, uh, just got a real quick message. Sometimes when you're a seer, when you flow in the prophetic, you will have things going on with you that can be diagnosed as mental illness because people don't understand it. There will be times where when you're serving God that you really just need to be alone to recharge. There will be times where you need time to just process and digest and have your alone time to be to get your cup refilled to talk to God to hear from him to rest there's going to be times like that even Jesus did it even Jesus went away to the mount to um I, I'm not I don't want to misquote the scripture but Jesus went away to pray he would leave his disciples and leave the crowd to go pray and be alone because he needed to be recharged. And some may see that as disassociating or um, like I feel like there's some people out here who have been diagnosed with adult autism and um, what's really going on is that they're spiritually sensitive and they get overstimulated because of all of the things that they are processing. So just try, try to take time to be with the Lord. Take the time you need to be alone if you're feeling overstimulated. If you are serving God and you're constantly pouring into other people and, you know, it, it can be very draining. It can be very taxing on you mentally, too. So take all the time you need. And don't try to place modern medicine on what God can fix. Now, I don't want to mislead anybody because I'm not against, like, if you need medication. If you know that you need medication and it's not spiritual, take your medication. If you know that you... Because God uses doctors too. There are people who serve the kingdom of God in the medical field who are anointed to help people with medicine or with um, psychology or, you know what I mean, with certain therapies. Like, God uses those people too. But if you know that you are perfectly healthy and you are perfectly sane... You might be fighting a little bit of spiritual warfare. You might be flowing in the prophetic. But if you have a sound mind and you know that you've been overextending yourself or overstimulated, take the time to rest. Just rest and be alone with the Lord and see what he can do for you. Because he, he, can, he, can, he can restore you. He will restore you in Jesus' name. Now, this is something different if, like, let's say, I'm going mean, like, to talk about ADHD hyperactivity. Um, Holy Spirit, help me. People process overstimulation in different ways. Sometimes you can become hyperactive because you're overstimulated. I'm the type of person where I become tired. But there are some people who get an overload of energy, especially from other people, and become hyperactive. Become unable to focus. Um, your focus is going seven different ways because of the overstimulation and that could be a sign of needing to retreat and recharge as well and, and pour your energy out into hobbies pour your energy out into you know doing things for you and not for other people if that makes sense um now there is a completely different side to this too 
where the enemy gets involved and deliverance is needed and there can be like demonic oppression um but i'm not speaking to y'all who you know who need that i'm speaking to those of you who know that you already have been delivered and you're serving god but if you do need deliverance please seek deliverance please seek deliverance if you feel like you have things such as multiple personality disorder if you have things such as like um thoughts of suicide or depression and things like that like mental health is very real and i do believe that a most probably 99.98 percent of mental illness comes from the enemy it comes from demonic sources because god has given you a sound mind and anything that's not a sound mind is definitely coming from the enemy in some way shape or form sent to destroy sent to destroy you mentally and if you're destroyed mentally then you can't function physically <clears throat> or spiritually properly so yeah if you're having any type of thoughts like that please seek deliverance seek deliverance and you also can seek mental health too but seek it under the the guidance of the holy spirit pray about god sending you divine helpers who can help you you get what i'm saying because there are some diabolical people in this world who would love to just put a label on you and not help you but pretend that they are so please just pray about it and say god can you please give me send me divine helpers send me someone who can help me in the physical under your will and um let me have discernment to see them let me have discernment to know who they are send me help and also seek deliverance it's like there's two sides to it you either not either but you both have to take care of your mental health in the natural and your mental health in the spiritual so seek deliverance and ask the lord for someone who can help you psychologically if you're dealing with these kind of issues but yeah for the most part if you're not and you just know that you found yourself getting like for me sometimes i find myself i'm i have very very busy days very very busy days my days and my nights are fully busy because i i'm i do work and i'm in school and i find myself being irritable even when i'm on assignments where the lord is telling me to talk to somebody to help somebody to minister to somebody or just to listen to somebody sometimes i find myself getting irritable <clears throat> because i'm tired i'm fighting warfare or i'm i'm just burnt out you know what i mean but i still have to um listen to my assignments i'm i'm i, I yeah i work yeah i'm in school but my first job my my first employer the one who comes first and foremost most is the lord that is my main job is to work for the kingdom of god so that comes first and i, I find myself getting short with my patience and irritated when i don't have time to recharge when i haven't spent my time with the lord or prayed or listened to my word or heard like you know some type of prophetic teach teaching or something like if i don't have that time alone it really does affect me and it makes me short with others so yeah i just wanted to put that message out there god bless you be safe